All right, if you're a veteran and you need help at home, what do you do? There's so many options. You could do private pay if you have a whole bunch of money. You could call your nephew or your aunt to come over and help you or family, anybody. But the odds are it's going to be a little bit difficult. If you don't have a lot of money, that's another issue, right? So what do you do? You've served your country. You've done everything you can. There's got to be some assistance that you can get at home, right? Yes, Charles, there is some good things that you can do if you're a veteran. Yes, Charles, there are some opportunities that you can have as a veteran and get care at home. Let's talk about it real quick. So, Yes, you can get services at home. It's called Homemaker Services, Respite Care, or Skilled Care. That's all covered at home. So we're gonna walk through how you get care started. If you're a veteran, where do you go, and this is specifically for the Dallas area, to get those services, and how do you get started? So what is a veteran? A veteran is basically a member of the military who actively served in the military and was honorably discharged. So if you're a veteran, the federal government offers benefits and that's under the VA. So that's the Veterans Affairs. The Veterans Affairs basically gives benefits to veterans if they fall within those military services. What you need to do is actually apply and get those benefits if you're honorably discharged. We're gonna walk you guys through that really quickly. All right, so this is if you are in Dallas. We're gonna break down how do you get services if you are in the Dallas Metroplex. So. The first place is you are going to call the VA. And so in Dallas, it's 4500 South Lancaster Road, Dallas, Texas, 75216. Telephone number is 214-742-8387. So that's the VA here in Dallas. Make sure you have your full name as a veteran, date of birth, last four of the social, and an ID. The best way to do it is to make sure that either you if you're the veteran or your loved one's a veteran, that you are representing them and then you contact the VA to see if they're registered in the system. Next step, if you find out that you're not registered, it's actually pretty simple. You can fill out a VA form 1010 EZ and submit that form to the VA with proof of ID and your address. So let's break down that 1010 EZ form. So in order to fill out that form, you need to make sure you have the original copies to help you actually fill it out completely. You need a driver's license or an ID. You need a social security card. You actually need honorable discharge certificate. That's the DD214 or the DD256 or the NGB22. Those forms are essential to verify that you are actually a veteran and were discharged honorably. You need your copy of your birth certificate. You need a fully completed VA 10 EZ form. You also need current medical insurance cards. That actually helps uh, to make sure that you are actually receiving some type of healthcare benefit somewhere. That helps. You need the latest tax returns. And if you're married, you also need your spouse's information. All of that information helps ex a lot to make sure that you get everything you need uh, to make sure that you are added into the VA for those benefits. So if you're in Dallas, you can apply on the website. It usually takes 10 days, but we actually encourage families to actually go to your to the local VA medical center, which is in Lancaster. If you have everything with you, you fill out the form, you do all those things, it makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker, actually. So now if you're a veteran and you're not actually able to go to the VA medical center uh, just because of some ailments or you're just not able to, the medical power attorney can go in your in your place and can go and represent you and actually do all of those things as long as all that information is there. So now you're wondering how does the VA rate or basically see whether or not you can actually qualify for the VA for specific benefits? So the VA has actually a rating system, one through 100%, and they basically use their own system to, f 
to actually see if you qualify. So there's, here are a few points uh, that basically see if while you were serving in the military that there was a service-connected injury or disability, if you were a former prisoner of war, a Purple Heart recipient, veteran discharge from service due to disability incurred during the line of duty, service awards, medals, veteran who served in the orange exposure regions, veteran that served in or was located near near specific nuclear radiation locations or a type of disability or injury. Those are the criteria that they look for to see if this if a veteran actually needs those benefits. So now once the eligibility is allocated, that percentage is allocated to the veteran, then the next step is the VA then reaches out to their VA social worker to get a doctor's appointment set up for the veteran. What happens is, is that the VA doctor is now local in the outpatient area, and it usually takes about two months to get actually an appointment set up with that local VA doctor. But once you get that set up, you cannot miss that. You don't wanna miss that. You wanna make sure you get there, whether it's a loved one or you working with a local local home health, VA certified agency that can transport you there, whatever it can be or whatever you can do, that will be a recommendation. Make sure you make that appointment. Once the appointment is set, usually the VA will ask for lab work to be done two to five days before that appointment. So once you have that doctor's appointment schedule and you meet the doctor, you literally have to let them know these are the things that I'm struggling with, this is what I need, veteran or loved one needs help getting up and down, bathing, assistance with the home. You have to tell the doctor, hey, this is what I'm needing. That doctor will then evaluate also and then send a report. The doctor will review all the information and then also send that information to a case manager. After that case manager and the packed team reviews everything, they will state, hey, based off of these descriptions, the information from the doctor, everything that's been reviewed, the veteran is awarded X amount of things, X amount of hours that's needed for aid services or specifically nursing therapy. That's the judgment of the doctor and that's also the judgment of the case manager based off of the need of the veteran. And usually that process takes about two to three months, but if you get it all set up, those things will actually help you for a long time. Here's an example. Veteran currently has ALS, is receiving care underneath our services, is a veteran, served wonderfully in the military, uh, but he's actually receiving homemaker services and respite care and skilled care underneath the VA. Uh, he established his VA long time ago and then got set up in the system and he's receiving more than 20 hours of care every week for aid services to help him with activities of daily living. And he's also receiving therapy and nursing on the skilled side. So these are things now that he's able to receive almost year round to help him with his needs after serving wonderfully for our country. So this is one way that you can actually receive care if you are a veteran. Go to your local VA, get that care you need, you serve this country well, and this is just a few ways that you can actually receive care at home without paying out of pocket or calling your nephew to come in and help you. So, hope this helps. If you have any questions, please like, subscribe, comment, give us a call. We hope this helped you. God bless. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.